Hello, my name is Mr. Clifford. I'm the lead teacher of GCSE 2D Art and Design. In GCSE Art and Design, we are open to teaching all different variations of art. This includes painting in acrylic, watercolour, oil paint, mono printing, lino printing, sculpture, drawing, Photoshop, animation, photography, film, pen, pencil, chalk, charcoal, oil pastels, soft pastels, and much, much, much more. GCSE 2D Art and Design consists of two elements, coursework and a final exam. The coursework is worth 60% of your overall mark in GCSE and the final exam is only worth 40%. For both of these, they are marked on four assessment objectives based on the development, the research part, refinement, the experimentational part, recording, that's the annotation and creating beautiful images through your book, and presenting the plan for the final piece. From day one in year 10, when you are giving your book, you, from then, you are kind of in your exam. Everything you do from then is going to be put towards your grade. Some might see this as a bit of a disadvantage, but just imagine being told you have 192 hours to do your whole test, as well as allowed to take it home, literally, rather than just doing it at the end of the year. That's crazy, right? That's art. Through the course, you'll be given the basic theme to start with, in which you'll be encouraged to develop your own way and thought and idea. For example, I gave the theme to natural form and there is nothing stopping you from doing a whole project on balloons. Seriously, balloons. But all you've got to do is just justify it. Currently, we actually have a student doing a whole project on toys, which they get what they got from the word conflict. And I tell you what, they are completely justified in doing so. At the end of year 11, you'll be asked to create a 10 hour exam final piece that will be spread over two days. That's, don't panic, that is, when I say two days, that's, you still get your lunch, you still get your break, but you're in a room with an easel and a final piece and you just get that whole time to focus on getting that outcome. But the big parent question I get from parents is, how is art gonna help my child get a job in the future? Look, art promotes creative thinking, ingenuity, and confidence. And it's all about creating an outcome. We're all about promoting success. GCSER, in my eyes, is at least the closest thing to preparing a child for a successful career in any other subject as it promotes independent learning more than any other subject. You get a brief, you create a product, and then you promote it. With all this to one side, despite the common misconception, there are, plenty of, there are not plenty of jobs in the art world. There are. It is just more competitive, as it is an amazing career path. You've got artists, animators, architects, fashion designers, game designers, graphic designers, marketing experts, and any other job that promotes creativity are the jobs that people fight for. And if you are the top of your field, you can make a lot of money doing something you love. Honestly, if you do something that you love as a job, you never work a day in your life. Art is hard and it can be time consuming, but if you love what you do, you'll never notice until you look at how much amazing content you've created. But it's my job to help you through it. If you have any other queries and questions at GCSE Art, um, or just want a bit of more information, please just feel free to send me an email or just talk to me. I'm here to support you whatever pathway you take. Thank you.